I, I want to wrap up on this, if I could. Um, I had the opportunity a few months ago to, to talk to your lovely daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, um, on my show. She is incredible. She's an incredible woman. She is obviously so committed to bringing you back to where you belong. She's an incredible mother. I've been traveling with her a lot lately, and she's amazing. And one of the things we talked about on my show uh, was the why with you. Because you have a lot of other things you could be doing right now. Your bank account looks pretty good. You have a few golf courses around the country. You have a few buildings here and there. You had four incredible years you have grandchildren. You have another one on the way. Congratulations to your daughter, Tiffany. I, I, one of my favorite moments with you was watching the RNC and watching your daughter, your granddaughter, 17 years old, on the stage and what that must have felt like for you. So there's so much that you have. And then you come out here and you just said it. It's such a dangerous job. And you choose to continue to do this when you don't have to. It's safer. It's cheaper. All of the things to not do what you're doing today. Why? Why? So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I probably am asked that question more than any other question. They say... <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. I think I'm asked that question maybe, like, why do you do this? Or if you had it to do again, sort of a similar question, would you do it over? And the answer to that is so easy and so emphatic, yes. But the reason is, I was saying to, you know, in a sort of kidding fashion the other night at a rally with these great rallies, and I was saying, you know, I didn't have to be here I was in the middle of a little bit of a rough area, and I loved every minute of it. We had, I think, 28,000 people. That's not, we had 101,000 people in Butler, you know that. We had 107,000 people in California the other day. And I said, here's the story. I could be anywhere I want. I could be on the finest beaches having that sun go over that very white skin that hasn't seen sun in years. I could, I could be hit in the face with beautiful waves of salt and beautiful salt water. I could be wherever I want, and I have great properties all over. Or I could be here with you people, and you know what? I would rather be here with you than any other thing that I can do, because, because you have a lot of people that are rich or wealthy, and they can do what they want to do. But we're doing something that's unique. This is the greatest movement of all time. We're going to turn our country around. Our country is really, it's a failing nation. I don't care what you say. I mean, we're not, we're laughed at all over the world by other leaders. Four years ago, we were respected by everybody. China, Russia. Russia would have never gone into Ukraine. Israel would have never been attacked on October 7th. We would have never had the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country, which is, you saw what happened in... Uh, Afghanistan, the Taliban. We would have never had, think of it, we would have never had Afghanistan. We were getting out, but we were going to get out with dignity and strength, and we were going to keep the big air base Bagram because it's one hour away. Spent billions and billions of dollars, just about the biggest, most powerful, longest runways in the world. We gave it to China. They gave it to China. China is now operating. We were one hour away from where China makes its nuclear weapons. We gave it up. Would have never happened. All of these things, we wouldn't have had inflation because our energy was so good. Energy caused the inflation, what they did with energy. But I said to myself, you know, sometimes I think, I see, you know, I get hit with all these lunatics that we have, where the radical left lunatics, where they make up stories about Russia, Russia, Russia. In the end, I wouldn't change what we've done for anything. We're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. And we can't do that sitting on a beach, right? We can't do that sitting on a beach. So I wouldn't change it for a thing. 